So in the last video, I made us this little sandbox, and in the sandbox we have two subdirectories, that is code and documentation. And if I go ahead and move into code, I can see I have one more nested directory, and then two Python files, and I can go ahead and see what's in that uh, nested directory, and I can see there's just one Python file. And then if I go ahead and take a, go back out and look at what's inside the documentation folder, I can see there's just uh, plain text in a markdown file. Now, all these files are just empty, they're placeholders, because we're just trying to learn how to move files around and create files, create directories. And the next thing that we are going to talk about is the move command, which is MV for short. So in general, if I wanted to move a file, let's say in this case, I want to move my file test2.py into my nested code directory, I would do so with the move file. Now, most of the commands, the make directory and the touch command that we've used so far was just the command space and then the, the file path that you wanted to use. Now, the move command actually takes two parameters. It takes one, which is the, uh, the origin, right, where the file is currently. It's in our current directory. So we'll just call that test2.py. And the second is where you actually want to move that file. As I mentioned, I'm looking to move that file into my directory called nested code. And I want to go ahead and you have to give it, uh, you have to tell it a name explicitly. So you can use the same name or you could take the opportunity to rename it at this point. I'm going to go ahead and just take the option to use the same name in a different directory. And then we'll use the ls command. I can see it's no longer in this directory. If I uh, use my ls command and look what's in my nested code directory, right now I have two Python files in here. That is great. So real quick, there's one more thing I wanna talk about uh, in move before we move on. Uh, I've been dealing in relative file paths, right? Again, you can use absolute file paths here. You can use home directory file paths here. All of those things will work, but I'm just using relative. That's what's most natural to me, especially in this setting. But before I move on, I wanna go ahead, I'm gonna open up this file in Vim. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just say print Hello world, right? We're just gonna do this. Um, Vim is an in terminal text editor. There's a unit that, that teaches you a little bit about Vim a little bit later. Um, what's important to know, right? If I open uh, code test.py, right? Oops, I opened a file that wasn't there, which means it probably created that file. Uh, it did not, right? If I open code test.py, Right, I can see that in Vim, I put in this this print hello world, and when I actually open it in VS Code, I can see that print hello world is actually in there. So, moving back over to my terminal, right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and move into, I, I know that test.py in the code directory says print hello world. I'm gonna move into nested code, the directory, and I'm gonna open up my, I have a file called test.py in here as well. So here I'm gonna use print and I'm gonna say hello world all over again, right? So um, here I'll go ahead and save this and get out of it, right? Again, I could show you in VS Code, hey, this now says it's, it's in there, but go ahead and trust me that it is, right? Test.py in this now says hello world all over again in a print statement. So if I move back out here to my code and now I want to move uh, I want to move this test.py into my nested code, right? So I'll use move test.py and I want to move that into nested code and I want to keep the same name. Now you have to be careful here if there's a file which has that already exists with that name, it will be overwritten and there will not be any warning or anything like that. So you have to be careful when you're using this command, moving files around or renaming files. So 
In this case, right, if I use move test.py, I put it into nested code test.py, I hit enter, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and open up that file again in VS code, right? And even though it's the test.py that's in the nested code directory, right? It's this one that I moved in there that just says hello world, not hello world all over again. So that just goes to show it's really important when you're using this uh, move command that you're careful that you could overwrite some potentially important file with your own by using the move command. So let's go ahead and I'm going to move one of those files back out. I'm going to move um, nested code test.py and I'm going to move that back out here to test.py, right? So I see ls, right? Now I have my nested directory and my test.py. Now let's see how we can use the move command just to simply rename a file in the place that it already is, right? And if I wanted to do that, I'll use move the current name of the file and let's say my new file name.python. Right, and I hit enter, go ahead and use ls, and I can see, right, test.py is no longer there. It's been quote unquote moved into the same location, but with this new name. So I can use this move command not only to move files in between directories, but also to rename them. I can do it at the same time, right? If I want to move my, my new file name.py into the nested code, right? But I want to turn it back into, just to be safe, I'll say test3.py, right? I can both move and rename all in one fell swoop. I'll go ahead and use my ls command, nested code, right? And now I have test2.py, test3.py. And in the sandbox, in the code directory, right? I only have that nested directory. So that's the move command. In general, the syntax is move space origin space destination. And that destination gives you the opportunity to rename the file. You have to be really careful that you're not overwriting any previously existing files when you use it. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one when we talk about the copy command.